I'm making a retro style game in Unreal Engine and these are some of the reasons why I prefer retro over realistic graphics. You don't need to be an artistic genius. Of course it helps, but in my opinion it's a lot easier to make something low resolution look good compared to high res. And even if you can't, the gamers might be more forgiving if something doesn't look right, or they might not even notice it because it's harder to spot it. This does not mean you can just slap any crappy texture on your models and expect the game of the year award. It still requires a lot of practice to make something look good. Lower PC requirements. You can make a retro style game on an average PC or even a laptop. Of course, the better the components in your system are, the more enjoyable it will be to work. No one likes slowdowns, freezes and crashes while trying to create something. Lower system requirements are also true for your players, which means your game can potentially be played by more people. Shorter development time. You don't have to worry about stuff like LODs, normal, roughness, metallic or AO maps. The models you create don't need to be very complex. They don't have to have any fancy physics objects attached to them. There is no need for motion captured animations, which are not only time consuming to make, but also require expensive equipment. You can do everything yourself, which is great if you don't have someone to team up with. Smaller file sizes It's a lot easier to back up your assets when the total file size is a few hundred megabytes instead of a few hundred gigabytes. It's also easier to share them with other developers. Many people around the world, myself included, have slow internet connection and it can take a while to download just a few gigabytes. It's easier to stand out. Most games nowadays look either cartoony and flat, or they strive to look as realistic as possible. Retro graphics stand out. It might be just me because I'm so involved in retro visuals, but if I see a video or a gif of a game that looks retro, it instantly grabs my attention. If it can hold it, depends on the quality and the type of the game. And my favorite reason is nostalgia. Ah, the bitter nostalgia. I grew up during the PS1 and PS2 era, so making a game that seems like it might run on those systems is awesome. Learning about all the limitations developers had to deal with is fascinating. Dithering? What's that and why was it used so much in the 90s? Why do textures warp on the PlayStation? Why does everything wobble? These are just some of the things I've learned about and finding answers to such questions is very motivating. Making a retro game is the perfect excuse to replay my favorite games and to play some of them for the very first time because there might be an interesting looking lens flare or unusually detailed characters. It reminds me of simpler times when games were just games and you didn't need realistic graphics because your brain would fill in the blanks.